Hi guys, so hopefully you've been out and had a nice long walk, uh, got your daily exercise in, got that step count up, and I would imagine that you're probably a little bit hungry. So we're going to start looking at what we're going to be preparing for your dinner. So this is the main course. Ben's going to go through that while I wash my hands. He's already done his, honest, he did just do it, okay? Fab, so tonight's dinner, if you're following our menu, is stew. So you can either do this in a foil parcel using some tin foil, like Gareth and I are about to show you, or if you're doing a lot of stew, you can do it in a big pot. So we're going to do that as well off camera, but we're going to show you how to do it on foil. And in a minute, Mark's going to speed the video up. So although it's going to take us about 15 minutes to do this, don't worry, you've not got to watch it live. So the ingredients you're going to need. So you're going to need some mince meat or some corn mince if you're vegetarian, or a beef burger that you can mash up. You're going to need some vegetables. So we've gone for some mixed veg because it's easy and you can just chuck it all in in one handful. Um, some peppers. You're going to need an onion for each person that you're making it for. A potato for each person you're making it for. Some Worcester sauce to give it some flavour. And then a selection of herbs and spices. So that's all the stuff you're going to need. Like I say, we're going to make it now. By the wonder of magic, it's going to come through really fast for you on Facebook. And then we'll be back in about half an hour with another video showing you how to make the, the chocolate orange pudding. But don't worry if, if it takes you longer than half an hour to do this because the video will be on Facebook waiting for you when you're ready to make your desserts. See you in a bit. Mm. Excellent. So we've now chopped and prepped all our ingredients. So if you're going for the um, tinfoil method, then now you just need to chuck everything in uh, like we're about to do. If you're going to go for a large pot of stew, then I would go for frying the meat and the onions off before you add the other ingredients. But if you're going for the foil straight in the fire, just everything can go in at once. Quite a lot of veg. Okay, so that's all the meat and the veg and stuff in there. So we're just going to put some extra bits in to make it a bit tastier. So we've got a little bit of a stock pot, that in there. Uh, we've got some Worcestershire sauce, which isn't open, so it might take me a minute to find the seal. While I'm doing that, Ben's going to put in some mixed herbs and a little bit of salt and pepper. We might not put the Worcestershire, oh no, I'm in it, I'm in it, I'm in. So, little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. I quite like Worcestershire sauce, so I'm going to put quite a bit in. That's it. Then all you want to do then is just seal up your parcel. So we've got double foil, okay? So there's two sheets of foil here because it's going to go in the embers of our fire. If you're doing it at home in the oven, one bit of foil will be enough, okay? But have it on a baking tray. This is probably sounding lovely on the microphones while I'm scrunching the foil. It's a good noise. If you look, I've kind of made bits at the end that are sticking up and are quite well scrunched. That means it's going to be a lot easier to lift it in and out of the embers of the fire as it cooks and we want to eat it later on, okay? Make sure it's nice and sealed. Then all you need to do is take it over to your fire and just pop it down in the embers to cook. And that's it. And then in a little while, tea will be ready. And like we said earlier, we'll be back in a minute with a video on how to make your chocolate brownie pudding. 